Jager Dev, everyone. So today, the full moon of Vrindavan, the all-attractive one, the beginningless, endless, unborn, all-attractive one takes birth. It is said when he came to the home of Yashoda and Nanda. He shone like a sapphire. Everything and everyone was attracted to him. Everyone wanted the moment to be near to him. Ladies wanted to hold him in their arms. Others wanted to give of their breast milk to him. Everybody was attracted to him. As small as he was, he conquered the hearts of everyone in Vrindavan, in Gokul. The circumstances of his birth as Guruji spoke earlier, were very difficult. He was preceded by a lot of suffering. And also after he was born, he experienced what, when we look at it from our perception, is also a lot of suffering. But what he did and how he was in everything was exemplary and always embodiment of kindness and love. So you read about this beautiful one and you see how he slayed various demons as a child. And you see the mood in which he did all of this was only in protection and love to those he loved. The machine of his kindness was run by the affection he felt for those around him. Nanda Lala. Gopi Janavallaba, Kishora, all are words used to describe the same mystery. We celebrate today the ununderstandable. So when Krishna took birth, it begins the pivotal journey of gopis, of gopas, of his relatives that played enemy to him, of his relationship with the Pandavas. Everything bears fruit from his birth. And so today for us, as a Sangha, we get to see those shining eyes we get to see that body rounded in every part. We get to feel the feeling that, yes, that kana belongs to us. And we get to see, feel, and experience it all. Because somehow he has gained an importance in our lives due to the teachings of our guru. The entire experience tonight, if we see it, is a culmination of what should be important to us. Krishna appears in this disguise as helpless. And it produces in us the feeling that we want to protect him. 
Yet, as he shows later, he is the protector of everyone. And so what a beautiful contradiction to witness. The juxtaposition of vulnerability and infinity. When do we ever have the chance? Only through the grace of the master. Can such a relationship be shown? Earlier we were talking during lunch and Guruji told this very beautiful story. He said, one day there was a thief and a monk. So the thief's job is to steal And so at night, he approached the house of the monk who had nothing stealable. The only thing he had was a blanket. The blanket was his clothes. The blanket covered him while he slept. The blanket was his asan during his meditation. And so in the middle of the night, when it was completely dark, the thief approached. The monk awoke, seeing that there is a thief, then thinking, there is nothing here for him to steal. I have to help him out. And so he took the only thing that he possessed, which was the blanket, and he said, here, I don't have anything, but you can take this. <laughs> and so quickly the thief grabbed whatever he was being given. He couldn't even see at night and he left. And so the following full moon, the monk now having nothing, sat and basked in the moon and said, how wonderful to be without a blanket in the full moon. <laughs> and so then he said the meaning of the story. We can say, I am the best. We can say, I only, only I am the best. And we can go our whole lives believing that only we are right. <clears throat> only what we believe is right. But until Kana steals the blanket, we will never feel the light of the moon. We never really feel what it feels like to bask in spontaneity, in love, as Guruji says, in enjoyment. As long as there is still something to defend, as long as someone else is wrong and we are right, as long as understanding is more important than experience, he didn't yet catch our eye. So today is the chance to give away the blanket of our rightness. Today is a chance to bask in the radiance of the full moon of Vrindavan and to say to him, in the auspices of this, our Guru, we want to claim the opportunity to observe, to bask, to feel that love, because this is the beginning of experience. And like Guruji said before, if your mind is doctored with what something will mean or how it should be, all we experience is the fabrication of our mind. So then, we have to approach to the Guru. 
and say, please, by your infinite grace and kindness, if we are worthy, please don't deny us the opportunity to see, feel the love for that one who loves us. And so we can, with gratitude, say that, yes, we know, because we can see it. We see that the simplicity of that love and the single pointedness of that love in him who is teaching us to love. And so as the celebration draws on, let us remember that, that if not for the presence of the Guru, even he will not be known to us. Even this day will not bear importance. And when we look at ourselves, we are made, made by the patience of our Guru. We are made by the principles he teaches so that we can sit in the proximity of this love. So enjoy what is left of today and enjoy the beginning. Every day is a new beginning of the relationship with the Lord. Jai Gurudev.